You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Nostalgia Products for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out the Coca-Cola Kettle Popcorn Maker. Hope you're excited for me to actually show this in action. But I do need to say thanks to Nostalgia Products for sending this to me to check out on video. And by the way, they also sent me the Coca-Cola Ice Cream Maker and the Coca-Cola Milkshake Maker. I'll put those links in the description. You can watch me make Coca-Cola Ice Cream and then a Coca-Cola Milkshake. Now this one here... The popcorn popper itself is a nice party size, so let's say you're having a movie release event, break this one out and you can make popcorn for the whole group. Makes 10 cups of popcorn each batch, new large, two and a half ounce kettle. And as you can see, there's a bottle of Coca-Cola on there, so I think when I'm ready to do my popcorn tasting, I will bring out a bottle of Coke as well. All right, let's check out the next side. All right, let's see. Enjoy fresh theater style popcorn anytime. Makes up to 10 cups of popcorn each batch. Easy to use and easy to clean. Durable plastic construction, great family fun. Now this side panel and the opposite side panel are exactly the same. Very much like the front and the back of the box. So there's not much more to do here or show you on the packaging. I need to get this out of the box, so let's do that. All right, here we go. Let's get this seal off, the tamper-proof sticker. All right, so right on top is my instruction book. Now this is a big machine, so I will have to tilt this down or tilt it over. Let's do that and kind of lift it out this way. All right, there we go. Now I have actually uh, done quite a few popcorn machines on video before, so this is nothing new for me. But we will see how this one works. Okay. Definitely a big size. There we go. Let's see. Okay, so here's the cord. Oh, and there's tape going around it, so I'll have to get this off. Okay. Now there's stuff in the inside, so let's see if we can... Oh, there's no easy way to get that out. Let's see. To prevent burning or scorching, remove any leftover popcorn before adding new popcorn to the chamber. All right, so it looks like this might be a challenge. Well, let's get what I can out. Oh, that's all taped in there. All right, so looks like I'm going to have to cut this piece of cardboard here. Take that out, which should allow me to tilt that up now. Oh, not. Okay. How about we take this out? Okay. That's not easy to do either. All right, this is actually uh, twist tied into the side. I'm not sure how they want me to do this. Is this taped in? Ah, oh, this is not taped in. Okay, that should help. All right. And I should be able to turn this now. Okay. Well, slightly challenging, but not too hard to do. Let's cut this here. I'm way down here, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm working on this section now. This is all taped in. I mean, the one good thing is it's not going to move around in shipping or storage. Okay, so this is the turning handle, measuring spoon for the oil, measuring cup for the popcorn. Get that out of the way. I don't think I missed anything. Here's the little kettle. Now, I have a professional machine in my collection of machines. It's probably about twice the size, maybe three times the size as this one. So I am familiar with these machines in general. But what I'll do anyway is I will make sure I go over their instructions before I put this together. And we'll see what they recommend. And I think that pretty much covers it. All right. So I will come back. I'll read everything. Make sure I get it right. That usually goes there. And that usually goes there. 
and then I will uh, set it up for you. See if I need to wash anything, I'll do that and come back and then we'll continue on. Okay, I'm here. They did want everything wiped down with a non-abrasive moist sponge. So I'm finishing that process. And then I'm gonna wash the other pieces, but I wanted to show you what they suggested. Well, there we go, I think that's wiped down pretty good. All right, let's keep going. All right, quick look at the inside so you can learn about what's going on there. The light switch is on the top. I would turn this on and then it lights up my popcorn area. And then the next switch would turn the gear that's gonna be spinning. That gear is what spins the kettle to move the oil and the kernels around. All right, so now, Let's put in the actual kettle. All right, we're getting there. I just like to show you all the mechanics so you understand what's going on here. This is just like my professional machine. That other black gear is gonna connect to this gear and that's what turns this and inside it's turning the arms that move the kernels and the hot oil around, distribute the heat because all of it is being heated by this element here. You plug it in on the inside here and that's what is heating this all up. All right, simple enough, right? Let's install that now. All right, here we go, time to plug it in. Now there is the square side and the round side on that. So you just match that up, plug it in. It's very simple. Once that's plugged in and the heating part of it is ready to go, okay? And then now remember we're matching up these side pieces here. You sometimes have to go left and right to get that to lock in. And then once this gear connects to that gear, it's good to go. It should spin no problem, which it does. All right, so the last piece on this then is the arm. This is a reverse thread, meaning that you have to go towards yourself to get it started. Okay. This way, it locks in, it holds in, and then this is what allows you to flip it. Now, the only thing I haven't shown you is the unit itself. So let me do that. Well, I'll tell you what, let's get the popcorn going. Let's get the unit going. And then I'll give you a quick tour of the outside as it's popping and we're smelling the popcorn and you can see where it says Coca-Cola and all the different sayings. I will be back now to make popcorn. All right. I have a few minutes while it is still heating up, maybe a little bit less. I don't know. All right. So the instructions are here how to operate and I'm doing pretty much following those steps. I do recommend a light vegetable oil, which I have. And then this is a quarter cup. So I am going to use this Amish country popcorn. And I decided to, I don't know, maybe I'll do one batch with this one here. This is the Midnight Blue, okay. And then they call this uh, Rainbow Ladyfinger, but I only see a couple of the red ones in there, but I'll try that one. And then this is just a regular kernel popcorn. They call this Ladyfinger type, the smallest of all the hulls. And then I am going to make a recipe for you. It'll be the first time. Well, maybe not the first time. I better not say that. I usually just, when I test a popcorn maker, do salt and butter. But today I'm going to try Parmesan popcorn. So I have all these ingredients set aside. So after I uh, pop two batches today, I will come back and then make that recipe. All right, as you can see while we're here, it does say on the front, enjoy that refreshing new feeling. And I'm going to enjoy that refreshing new taste. You got the nice Coca-Cola on the top and then as it's popping and I'll show you the sides and the back so you can kind of get a good idea of the style of the machine. All right, I have a few more seconds. I will be back and I will start making the popcorn. Okay, heated up and ready to go. So they want you to put in, I was just kind of showing you that side a little bit. This side has a nice drink Coca-Cola and of course you see the nice white stripes has that very cool vintage nostalgic vibe to it. Oh, by the way, there is the, the light switch and the power switch. All right, so let's get going here. You wanna hold this up. Hopefully it'll stay. It is a little warm, but not too bad. Put in your oil. And then a quarter cup. I started, decided to go with the dark one first. Okay, just like my professional machine, they drop off up there sometimes. So we will try to get those out of there. Okay, that's it. So close it up and turn it on. And in no time, it says you will have 
Fresh popcorn. All right, so I'll get you a nice shot inside as it's popping. All right, what's going to happen now is that aluminum lid there is so light as the popcorn pushes out, it's going to open up both sides of that, and then you'll see the kernels start to come out and fall to the bottom. So I'm just going to let it go till it pops, and then edit out the space in between up until the popping point. Let's take a look inside here. I'm gonna reset the camera and we'll see how much we popped and flip the kettle. Okay, so there is batch number one. Now you just kind of give this a little twist up. Now you will see there is a uh, popcorn uh, kernel stuck, not a kernel, actually pop popcorn stuck in the little arm. Now you could try to poke that out in there. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. So sometimes you might want to pop that out because it might burn on the next batch, but I will come back now and let's do another batch. The popcorn actually looks darker than regular popcorn. Cool. All right, let's do another batch. All right, next batch. Here we go. Another scoop of oil. And then the popcorn. That sometimes does want to flip down on you, so you do have to sometimes use two hands. There, I lost one. I'll have to pick that one up. Okay, let's turn it on. I'm going to break tradition here, and I'm going to leave the door open, but I'm going to pull a little spacer here just so that we can see right in as it pops. I'm going to lose some, but I think it's cool. Ooh, let me get that one or two kernels I dropped. There, they're gone. All right, so I'm going to leave it open this time so we can watch it. that sounds good and look at the popcorn I don't know if you can see it down there it is two different colors so I was not expecting that officially turn that off and then knock that out okay so I'm gonna come back now I'm gonna make more but I want to get this to the larger bowl and start the process and then I'll show you the two different colors all right I wanted to show you how I was getting the popcorn and I'm using just a flat bowl And I'm going to get out as much as I can. Now I set aside two bowls so you can see the difference between the two. And it's definitely different. I think I'm going to pop a few more batches so I have it. I don't want any kernels. All right, let me get the kernels out of there. I think I'm going to leave what's in there. Even though I like some of those dark crunchy ones. All right, so let's just take a quick look down here. You should be able to 
tell the difference of the two popcorns color wise even with the white background here I'll tone down the light slightly this was the brown one I could even tell there's a stray one in here that belongs to the other batch but see that so I'm gonna make two more batches so I have it as backup and then I will come back and start chopping things and getting my recipe ready all right here we go I will show you the recipe it is a half a cup popcorn that's popped I mean that's pre-popped you get one gallon all together one teaspoon garlic powder three green onions finely chopped half a teaspoon cracked pepper one teaspoon tea salt one cup parmesan cheese and three tablespoons olive oil heated all right so the first thing as you can hear my popcorn machine is going in the background I am going to get my three now I'm assuming they just want the green part so that's all I'm gonna chop up here because I don't think we want full pieces of onion. I think they want the color and the little flavor from this part of it. Otherwise they would have just said regular onion, right? And then the rest is just the dry ingredients except for the oil of course, so. I still have some time on my popcorn. You can really see the color difference up above there, the two. Okay, I'll get right to where I can just see the change in color. It's close. Okay, right there. All right, I will keep chopping this more and come back and proceed along here. I guess it is nice hearing the popper going in the background. Okay, I'll probably chop it just a little bit more. I should say fine, and then I will come back. All right, that is done. Now what I did was I grabbed the third popcorn, which I had not popped, and that's what's in there now. So we'll see if there's any difference between that one. I don't think it'll be that much different. I think we're pretty much ready to do the process. I just need to heat up the oil. So that's all set. I will come back now and uh, put it all together. All right, last batch is done. And it is the same color as the other one with the little bits of red in there. So there's no real difference there. Okay, so I made four batches, quite a bit of popcorn as you can see my Popcorn area is full. All right, let's get this going here. Let's move this out of the way. I've gone over all the ingredients. Let's fill this up. Okay, I was thinking about adding just a little bit more. Being smaller kernels, I thought, hmm, maybe with bigger kernels, it'll work differently. So I want to make sure. Let's just put some more and fill this bowl up. A little bit more. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to make it. And then, of course, I'm going to eat it. So, step one. It says, pop kernels. Check. Combine garlic powder, green onions, crack pe cracked pepper, sea salt, and Parmesan cheese. Set aside. Okay. So, Parmesan cheese. It's a whole cup. Whoa, did you see that lump come out? There we go. I saved it. Okay, that's quite a bit, huh? Okay, and then garlic powder, one teaspoon. I need to get this top off. Okay. Half a teaspoon cracked pepper. I'll just do this to where I... I 
I don't mind a little extra pepper. Sea salt, let's see, how much sea salt? One teaspoon. Okay, now I need to mix that up. Okay, let's get the onion in there. Well, I have to tell you, it smells good. Okay, then it says, drizzle the olive oil over the bowl of popcorn and shake and coat it really nice. So this is kind of important, isn't it? So I'll just put a little bit on. Ooh, the handles, I didn't even think about it when I got this bowl, that the handles. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold it like this. Okay, keep going. I guess this is what's gonna help everything stick to it, right? keep mixing this to where I feel the coating is nice on all the kernels and then I will come back and do the last step but this might take a minute or two to get it mixed so I'll be right back I do see nice coating on a lot of them so now two things they say I can drizzle that right on like a, a bowl of popcorn and then mix that I can mix the whole thing I'm gonna try to mix the whole thing I've been Pretty good and learning my bowl. When I do this and I kind of tilt it and it stays in the handles. But this gives it a nice turn all the way around. Okay, here we go. I will drizzle some over the top and then give it a mix. There, there we go. That's the next round that doesn't have any on it. Okay, should be coming back around. Next round. I've said in the past, I'm really just a salt and butter kind of popcorn person. Now I see it's coming back. Just a little bit left, here we go. It's a nice coating. All right, I need to get my Coca-Cola out, clean up my tabletop. I have not tried it, as you can tell. I will not try it till I come back. That's a nice coating now. I see green in there. There we go, how nice. All right, I'll be back. All right, here we go. I gotta tell you, it's near impossible not to take a sample while the camera's off, but I have not tried it yet. Had to get my Coca-Cola, that completes the picture for me, doesn't it? How about for you, if you were at my little popcorn party, would that complete the picture for you? All right, here's one for everybody. Ooh, it has that feeling, like a soft feeling to it. You know what I'm talking about? It doesn't, it's not making that squeaky sound because of all the Parmesan cheese. All right, here we go. My first taste of something like this that I've made. Another bite? I like it. Well, I like too. Look at my fingertips, they get coated in cheese. I don't taste onion much yet. Nice layer of salt. It would be nice with a little cracked pepper right on top. All right, so next part you have 
and you need a machine that can really put out the popcorn. This would be one that would do it. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I wish you could taste this with me. And if you want to see those other videos, I'll have a link in the description. Okay, I'll stop eating. Sorry. I'll also have a playlist of all the other food sets that I've tested on video. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. I really wish you could taste this because it is super nice. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.